Unfortunately, exposure to pharmaceutical marketing is very common. Here are a few stats to illustrate that. A 2010 survey amongst students at the University of Göttingen Medical School in Germany revealed that the proportion of students with direct contact with sales representatives increased from 21% in their first clinical year to 77% in their final clinical year. A 2004 survey of 125 medical schools and the 15 largest independent teaching hospitals in the US found that 60% of department chairs had some form of personal relationship with the pharmaceutical industry. A 2010 study which surveyed 381 internal medical residency program directors in the US found that 55% had accepted support of some kind from the pharmaceutical industry. And not only is it very common, very little interaction with pharma is needed to impact a healthcare professional's behaviour. A US study of 280,000 doctors found an association between accepting even just one sponsored meal and higher prescribing of a sponsor's medicines, with any additional or costlier meals being associated with even higher prescribing. You may not think that you've been impacted by pharmaceutical marketing. Many healthcare professionals sincerely believe they're unaffected by gifts and other forms of company influence. However, there are a number of published studies that demonstrate otherwise. Interestingly, many healthcare professionals believe that they are not affected by promotional materials, but that their colleagues are. This is actually a common human trait. And this is one of the dangers that marketing from the pharmaceutical industry poses, that those who are affected do not believe they're behaving in a biased way, and that they can continue to work whilst technically experiencing a conflict of interest. Healthcare professionals have subscribed to a high level of ethical conduct. And we're not trying to say that all healthcare professionals have been unduly influenced or are trying to actively put pharmaceutical company interests above that of patient health or safety. Some are, but all too often the impact that pharmaceutical promotion has had is unconscious, which is why so many healthcare professionals think they're immune to marketing. If healthcare professionals really understood the extent to which exposure to pharmaceutical promotion can compromise the integrity of their clinical decision making, they would be dissociating themselves from situations which open them up to secondary considerations. You can take this kind of action by not participating in pharma funded conferences where possible, being aware of the derivation of your educational materials, avoiding interactions of any kind with pharmaceutical sales representatives, and by using extra caution when online and digesting media.